Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and 50,000 subscribers. Thank you. I don't know what else to say besides thank you. I can't believe that we're at 50,000 subscribers on the Ken and Kings channel here on YouTube. It's crazy. This is your first video. You might as well join because obviously something's going well over here <laughs> because we're at 50,000 subscribers. I can't even believe it. So in order to say thank you and to just, I don't know, I'm just so grateful and share love and just give back whatever the words you want to use to describe it. We're having not only a marathon, but a giveaway each day of the marathon. I know you're here for the Cantu beauty review and I promise I'm about to get into it, but this is day one of the Candy Kings 50K <laughs> marathon. And it's also day one of my five day giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of this video to get more details on the giveaway. Thank you so much if you are a part of the Candy Kings family. Let's dive into the video. For those of you guys who are just here, for the review and you're like, okay girl, I don't care. So, Cantu, these products are new-ish. They didn't come out like in 2020, but they're fairly new. If you have your ear to the streets, you may have heard about these products. I don't know, they came in a curl box a while ago, I believe, I mean, it was a while ago. It doesn't matter, it was a while ago. I had them on my shelf for a while. And I actually have tried some other new Cantu products from the texture line at the end or middle part of last year and I actually enjoyed them but I didn't get a chance to record that but anyways this is my first time trying these products which are new-ish. Cantu is a very affordable line I'm sure most of us have tried Cantu. I'm rambling. <laughs> We're gonna start with that I wanted to bring you guys some affordable options of hair care but I recently tried the new Palmer's line I was like impressed with that and I feel like the more affordable brands are stepping up in terms of ingredients and just trying to perfect their formulas and I have a similar opinion about these products I tried today to get this really nice really 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 nice twist out. So the first thing I used was the shampoo with avocado oil and shea butter. It's supposed to moisturize, soften, dry, brittle hair, and it's sulfate-free, paraffin, paraben, phthalates, and mineral oil-free. The first few ingredients are water, sodium C14-16, olefin sulfonate, cocomatopropyl betanine. A little bit down the line, we do get into fragrance, avocado oil, shea butter, the list goes on. Obviously, if you're more interested in what's in the product, you can check that out on their website. So I was pleasantly surprised by this shampoo. I feel like, again, companies are taking out sulfates and figuring out ways to get our hair clean without sulfates, and this shampoo was no different. It was not stripping at all and it actually felt quite hydrating. Would I call it a completely moisturizing <laughs> shampoo? No, but I had a really good experience with it and I will see in the clips that I'm showing you that my hair reacted really well to it. My hair did feel soft when I rinsed it out, so this actually was a pleasant experience from the shampoo. Then I went in with the conditioner. This is the silicone free um, avocado oil and shea butter conditioner. It also doesn't have parabens, paraffins, phthalates, or mineral oil. And first few ingredients in this one are water, sterile alcohol, settled alcohol, um, avocado oil, dimethylamine, um, and the list goes on. Shea butter is also a little bit down in here as well, and some fragrance, etc. I like this. It was like a mixture between a co-wash, like the feel of it on my hair, between like a co-wash and like a regular conditioner. I would definitely call this a light conditioner, but it did what it was supposed to do. So if you want a deep, penetrating treatment, this would not be for you, but for a light, quick, like I like to do, quick shampoo, quick condition, rinse it out, get the styling, this was pretty good like the shampoo and the conditioning part of my wash day no complaints and I love when affordable items can get me that so I really don't have any complaints so far now we're gonna hop into some styling so let's see how I felt 
going forward. After I rinsed out that conditioner, I applied the Curl Activator, hydrating Curl Activator with avocado oil and shea butter. This is also silicone free. It's supposed to define, soften, and you know, get rid of your frizz. Again, no parabens, paraffins, phthalates, and mineral oil. First few ingredients in this product are water, glycerin, betrahide, ammonium, methyl sulfate, avocado oil, etc. alcohol, and the list goes on. Now, this was quite thick um, for a leave-in type of product. I used it as a leave-in slash moisturizer, and again, it was on the thicker side. Um, but now this one, I will say, did not have the slip that I like to go for. So with a lot of like, you know, elbow grease and a lot of work, I was able to detangle my hair. But who wants to need, who wants to use elbow grease and work to detangle their hair? They don't have to, right? So this definitely required a bit of work to detangle it. So that's one thing I will say I was unimpressed with that. In terms of definition, I didn't really see a crazy increase in definition with my hair texture. Just a personal thing right now. It did soften the hair and I can say that my hair does feel moisturized and soft and fluffy and all kind of stuff at this moment. Now that my hair is dry, but again, it didn't feel, it didn't give me a slip that I look for. Um, or definition if we're claiming that it's supposed to be a defining product, a defining cream curl activator type of thing. Now I know my hair isn't going to change texture and get mad defined, but it's also, <laughs> I've also seen it very defined so I kind of understand what she looks like when she's hydrated and as defined as possible and this did not give me that experience on its own. Um, I probably wouldn't reach for this again and I probably wouldn't think to use it as a curl activator or as a styler on its own going forward the gel really kind of amped up the style and I think made the style what it is let's get into that so this is the hydrating gel with avocado oil and shea butter flexible hold interesting way of describing this product I think I get what they mean now that I've used it and my hair is dry um, alcohol free with no parabens paraffins phthalates or mineral oil first few ingredients in this gel are water um, Carbomer, polysorbate-20, VP-VPA, copolymer, see, I'm done with this. So, <laughs> I enjoyed this gel and it did define my hair and I felt like I definitely had some definition, but it's also a very light hold. Like I would actually label this gel as a light hold. I felt like I used a lot of product, um, but my hair, did not really feel or does not feel on day one like I used gel. Now, if you are a wash and go person, this gel could be great because you're not gonna have a crazy cast or super, super harsh hold or you know a crisp, crunchy type of hold. But it also just feels like I didn't put gel in my hair, which I think is interesting because it feels like gel, it smells like gel, it moves like gel, <laughs> but my hair does not feel like I put gel in it. It feels like I put a custard or a product that is like a cream, a custard, custard period. And maybe mixing or, you know, layering the activator with the gel kind of created a custard-like texture on the hair. I'm no scientist, clearly can't even read the ingredients. So who knows why it feels like this, but I like it. Feels like a gel's in my hair? No. Feels good? Yes. Looks good? Yes. I did do medium to chunky size twist, so my hair isn't going to be extremely defined, but I felt like if I did do small twists or small braids, I would see the definition that I'm used to from a twisting butter. And I can come close real quick and you guys can see my hair is definitely clumped and defined. My roots are puffy like how they always are. And had I done, um, Again, smaller twists, smaller braids, I would have had a more flat rooted, defined hairstyle. But you guys already know if it's between definition and volume, volume for me is gonna win every single time. So before I end the video, let's get into what would I spend my coins on. If I had to choose, which I do have to choose, I enjoyed the shampoo, I enjoyed the conditioner, and I enjoyed the gel. Would I buy the gel again? I don't know. 
because it's like a light whole gel. Do, you, do I need that when I can just use a butter or a cream instead of the gel? Probably not. So if I'm being brutally honest, I would probably in a pinch go out and get the shampoo and conditioner and feel confident that I would have a really good wash day with no hiccups. I don't like to apply gel if I don't have to and when I do apply gel I want it to give me a good amount of hold. So a light hold or a soft hold gel is not one that I would pick up or frequently use. Now if you are someone that likes a soft light hold this could be great for you. Let me know in the comment section if you have tried this new-ish collection from Cantu. I'm actually curious to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Most of you guys seem to like the more natural products, the more handmade type of products like myself, but I like to bring affordable products and things you can go and pick up anywhere on my channel just in case you're curious or if you don't like to spend money on hair like that i totally get that the curl activator was okay my hair is soft but i wouldn't pick it up again and need to use it again and again and again because i really didn't like the lack of slip that i experienced the gel was cool light hold wouldn't really reach for a gel with light hold for my hair type texture and needs Hope that was helpful. Hope it was detailed enough. Let me know what you think. And if you watched this entire video, why am I out of breath? Whew, on my feet right now. Mine's sitting on a chair, so I think I'm just getting tired. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for 50K. And since you are a part of the Candy Kings family, today is day one of my five day marathon and five days of giveaways. So for today's video, the requirement to enter is to obviously be a subscriber and this day we also have an Instagram component. Every day will not have Instagram in it but today we do. So if you have an Instagram go ahead and take a screenshot or like a screen grab or a video or picture or a boomerang of this video and post it on your Instagram stories. Tag me at Candid Kinks and that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Leave a comment with your Instagram name so I can make sure to check it and find it on my little tag section and I'll be picking the winners from that selection. Tomorrow's video slash giveaway will not have a Instagram component. I know that everyone is not on Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you once again for 50k. I really can't even wrap my head around it but we're here. Marathon time. Hashtag Candy Kinks 50k a bad hashtag but i have enough to do besides taking another hashtag if you can think of a hashtag comment it down below let me go love you guys and i will see you tomorrow in day two am i focus there i go i will see you tomorrow in day two of the 50k marathon let me know if my hair is cute because i think it's real cute i think i found another affordable banger for the channel